Hey guys, today's video is about creating an outline text effect with Affinity Designer version 2. And to do so, we first of all need to start with the text we want to transform. So in our case, we need to go to the um, text tool right here we find in the toolbar and type in the text. So we can go with Affinity for example and make it bigger and adjust it. Um, with the font you want to use. So in this case, I will go with Roboto, which is a Google font. You can get for free from Google. And we're going with black in this case and moving it in the center of our document. And now the next step is to click on your text, go right here or directly on convert to curves. Now um, ungroup by right click and then ungroup all. And then we need to go to Boolean operations right here and we need to press on add to create a curve out of this text. So the next step is duplicating this curve. We can use um, a shortcut which is command and J for Mac and control and J for Windows. And after duplicating we have both curves in our layer, layers um, tab as we see right here. And now we're using and one of the new tools inside Affinity Designer version 2, which is the contour tool. So we're clicking right here and we're moving um, till we think it looks good, something like this. And we are going with contour type metro joints and adjusting the metro um, so that it fits. So not like this, more like something like this. And if we have some edges, some um, that's okay because we can remove them um, afterwards and if you are satisfied with how the contour looks we can click on bake appearance and we're creating a curve a whole new curve out of um, um, our previous curve and the contour that's why we um, duplicated the curve before and now we sometimes need to adjust the curve so uh, maybe delete some edges so we're clicking on the curve and clicking on the node tool right here in the toolbar and then selecting some of them and removing them. And I think that's the only one we need to remove. And yeah, it looks good. And the next step is to move um, our text above our curve. Then um, just simply select both of them and go to Boolean operations again and go to subtract. And that way we are subtracting the um, text curve um, from the curve with the contour and in the end we only have the contour now and we can now move it around and you see if we change the background color the filling color changes as well because it's only a contour we no, don't have any filling for the text right here because we cut it out we can move, uh, make it white again and we can simply resize this curve by holding um, down shift so we keep the proportions we can um, change the color and um, work with it the way we want to and we can also add some shadow if you want to something like this and maybe 10 and 3 to make it pop out the background a little bit and yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in next video and bye